To perform the rest machining of the interior pocket, you have to define an iRest operation. First, create a copy of the current iMachining operation. Click the Save and Copy button. The current iMachining operation dialog box closes and the copied operation automatically opens. Click the drop down menu under Technology and change the operation type to iRest. The copy geometry selections from the previous iRough operation are used for this iRest operation. By clicking the Show button on the geometry page, you can view the defined machining geometry. Click Cancel to exit the Show Geometry dialog box. Switch to the tool page. Currently, the copied 9.5mm end mill is selected for the operation but is not suitable to perform rest machining of the interior pocket. Click the Select button to display the Choosing Tool for Operation dialog box. In the Part Tool table, select Tool Number 2, the smaller 6mm end mill. Click the Select button to choose the tool for the operation and exit the Part Tool table. Switch to the Levels page. The copied milling levels from the previous IROF operation are used for this iRest operation. Switch to the Technology Wizard page to view the cutting conditions. The wizard automatically calculated one step down to achieve the total depth with an ACP value of 3.9. Reduce the machining level slider to 5 for the operation. On the technology page, the step down and cutting angles generated by the wizard are shown. By default, a 0.12mm allowance will be left on the walls. Switch to the iRest data tab. There are three important values needed for calculating rest material. They are previous tool diameter, previous wall offset, and previous fillet radius. By default, the previous iRough operation is selected as the parent operation, and the fields are automatically filled with the associated values. You also have the option to choose User Defined by clicking the drop-down menu next to Parent Operation. This opens the fields for editing and enables you to manually enter these three important values. User defined would generally be used in a case where the previous roughing operation may not be an iMachining operation. Leave the default selection, iRough Interior Pocket. It is important to know that the wall island offset for rest machining must be greater than zero, but less than the previous wall offset. Those values can be compared under the iREST Data tab and Technology tab. For the purpose of this exercise, enable the Corners Only checkbox in the REST Material area. When the option to clear Corners Only is selected, the Wall Island Offset is inherited from the previous iRough operation and the Input Field text box becomes locked. The Wall Island Offset is now 0.24 millimeters. At this point, the operation can be calculated and the iMachining toolpath can be viewed on the model. Name the operation iRest Interior Pocket. Click the Save and Calculate button to add the iRest operation to the cam tree and calculate the iMachining toolpath. Click the Simulate button to display the simulation control panel. Using the default HostCAD simulation mode, click the Play button to show the wireframe toolpath. The tool plunges inside the pocket and performs the rest machining by clearing the corners only as well as removing material from the bottleneck areas left over from the previous iRough operation. Close the simulation control panel with the exit button to display the iMachining operation dialog box. At this stage, the rest machining of the interior pocket is defined. 